AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. We should be very careful about artificial intelligence. Um, if I were to guess at what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. Well, I mean, humans have been the smartest creature on Earth for a long time, and that is going to change with uh, what's typically called artificial general intelligence. Uh, so this is, say, an AI that is uh, smarter than a human in every way. Could, could even simulate a human. Uh, so, you know, th th this is something we should be concerned about. I think there should be uh, government oversight of uh, AI development, um, especially super advanced AI. It's just, this is anything that is a potential uh, danger to the public. We generally agree that this should have uh, government oversight to ensure that the, the public safety is taken care of. The advent of artificial general intelligence is called the singularity for a reason, because just like a black hole, which is a singular singularity, it's difficult to predict what will happen. Um, so it's not as though the advent of AGI is necessarily bad, but it's bad as one of the possible outcomes. We should have uh, a, a government oversight, just like we do. We have uh, government oversight and regulation of uh, cars and aircraft and uh, food and pharmaceuticals, these are all, uh, you know, there's a, there are regulators that oversee uh, these developments to ensure public safety. Um, and I think uh, digital superintelligence would also be potentially a public safety risk. And so it should be, it's, I think it's very important to, for uh, regulators to keep an eye on that. You know, I, I have exposure to the very, very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and I think people should be really concerned about it. Um, I keep sound, sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react, you know, because it seems so ethereal. Um, and um, I think we should be really concerned about AI. And I think we should. Yeah, this is, AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive. Um, because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation, it's too late. AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. Um, in a way that car accidents, uh, airplane crashes, um, faulty drugs, uh, or bad food were, were not. They were, not, they, they were harmful to, to uh, a set of individuals within society, of course, but they were not harmful to society as a whole. Um, so we need to be very careful with artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where. Is the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon. Didn't work out. I think we're missing a few key ideas for general intelligence, general artificial general intelligence. But it's gonna be upon us very quickly, and then we'll need to figure out what shall we do, if we even have that choice. But, but it's, it's amazing how people can't differentiate between, say, the narrow AI that you know, allows a car to figure out what a lane line is and, 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 you know, and navigate streets versus general intelligence. Like these are just very different things. Like your toaster and, a, and your computer are both machines, but one's much more sophisticated than another. Do you think we will ever create an AI system that we can love and loves us back in a deep, meaningful way, like in the movie Her? I think AI will be capable of convincing you to fall in love with it very well. And that's different than us humans? You know, we start getting into a metaphysical question of like, do emotions and thoughts exist in a different realm than the physical? And maybe they do, maybe they don't, I don't know. But but from a physics standpoint, I tend to think, I tend to think of things, you know, like physics was my main sort of training. And, wow. and, and from a physics standpoint, Essentially, if, if it loves you in a way that, is, that you can't tell whether it's real or not, it is real.
the biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. This, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. Um, they just can't, they, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. I'm really quite close to, I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows and the rate of improvement is exponential. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I mean, I think it's once you generally are on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And so therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Um, like this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Far. So why do we have no regulatory oversight? This is insane. The best of the available alternatives that I can come up with, and maybe somebody else can come up with a better approach uh, or, or better outcome, is that uh, we achieve democratization of AI technology, meaning that uh, no one company or a uh, small set of individuals has control over advanced AI technology. I think that that's very dangerous. Um, it could also get stolen by somebody bad, you know, like some evil dictator country could send their intelligence agency to go steal it and gain control. It just becomes a very unstable situation, I think, if you've got any um, any incredibly powerful AI. Um, you just don't know who's, who's going to control that. Just be very careful in uh, how we adopt artificial intelligence and to make sure that uh, researchers don't get carried away. Because uh, sometimes what happens is a scientist can get so engrossed in their work they don't necessarily realize the ramifications of what they're doing. Um, so I think it's important for public safety that we, you know, governments keep a close eye on artificial intelligence and make sure that it does not represent a danger to the public.